Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn about dynamic routing. In my previous video, I have explained how to use an nested routes. In this video, we will target how to create our dynamic routing. So in my previous video, I have explained how this routing will work with nested values. So here, what I want to do is I want to commonize all these product details page to one particular file. So now what I'll do is I'll just comment this particular routes and I won't use all that three particular files. Let me delete that files. So let me go here and uh, this delete that is chocolate, ghee and milk. I don't want to use this. So let me delete it off. Now I have only the details page. So let me go here and go into now bar. Now bar is also not needed for us. Let me go into the products. So now the products is the output layout. Let me go into app.js. Now I want to make this as dynamic values and also these all are not used. Let me remove this and save this. Now what I want to do is I want to show the product ID when the user go into the details page. So for that sake what I can do is I can use something like a route again not the index route. I'm using another route which is a dynamic route. So let me go into path. I want to have a dynamic value inside this path either one two or three in that case I'll use something like colon and ID I'm not giving a static path I'm giving a path prefixed by colon whenever a path is prefixed by colon it is treated as a dynamic value so whenever user hits this dynamic value it has to go into the details page I want to use the details page so let me go into details route and page save this now let me go here and uh, go into products you are seeing the details when I click on chocolate it is going to one and the details milk it is going and showing the details ghee it is showing the details but what I want to show is when the user hits this products slash any number I want to get that number into my details page so let me go into the details component now I want to get the parameters whatever we passed dynamically so for that sake we can use something called as use params which is again given by react router dom as a hook and this hook will return you some set of values let me go here and use something like params so let me go and use params and let me print this params first so how it looks params and save this now go here and let me hit inspect go to the console and clear this off let me go into chocolate and you can see the ID as one milk ID as two and ghee ID as three where this ID is coming from it is coming from our configuration if you see the configuration it is coming from here if I change this to ID X and save this now let me clear this off and click on milk you can see IDX so whatever you are giving after this colon that can be accessed in our params so let me remove this save this and go here now I can show the params value by using some set of binding params dot ID and we don't know whether this ID will come or not let me use question mark and save this now go here and you can see we are in details 2 that means ghee when I click on chocolate it is showing chocolate as details 1 ghee as details 3 now we can use this ID and we can render whatever the product we want so based on this ID you can call an API get the details of the product and showcase it we'll talk more about that API calls all this stuff but here I want to concentrate how to pass a dynamic value into the route and how to retrieve the dynamic value into the particular child component so this is how we can do it so here we need to understand what is an outlet how to pass a dynamic value how to receive that dynamic value by using use params so that's it we can receive any of the parameters whatever we want to pass for example if I want to pass a label I can pass the label as well instead of ID what I'll do is I'll use something called as label just I'm changing to understand in an easy manner let me go here and I'll use label save this now what I'll do is whenever user clicks on that particular product I don't want to send an ID I'll send a label directly and save this now you can see let me go here click on products and click on chocolate see here chocolate milk and ghee so you can even send the product name but it is not always recommended to send some set of string values on the URLs so whenever you want to send some 
value that should not be exposed out to other members as this will be a secret of your particular product details so i don't want to go with any of the labels because label can change at any time so better always go with a id so when you go with an id that will be unique then there will be no problem for your routing configurations so that's how your dynamic routes can be configured now if i want to send some query parameters for example you will be seeing some set of question mark related stuff something like if you go into amazon and click on something like best seller you can see there is a question mark and followed by some set of data if you just change this also there will be no problem to your route so i didn't give any ref value but still the route is properly working for example in our case if i give something like slash one see it has broken that means there is no match for it but if i give something like a question mark and name is equal to sai if i give something like this still the route is working that means these are ignored parameters but if you want to pass such parameters into the url they are called as query params so how to pass the query params how to set the query params we will see in the upcoming video hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you